So real quick, let's look at the difference between an aldehyde and a ketone, because they look kind of similar. But here's the way you can tell the difference. See this H right here in the word aldehyde? That means that it's going to end in an H. So when you have an aldehyde, you have a double bonded oxygen, we have a carbon here, ends in H. Over here, this R, that's a carbon. It's either a carbon like this with four hydrogens, or it could be bonded to another carbon like this here. The point is we have carbon, carbon double bonded in carbon, that's our ketone, but our aldehyde, we have the carbon, carbon, it ends in H, just like in the word aldehyde. So let's try some practice here. So is this structure here an aldehyde or a ketone? Keep in mind, this is a carbon right here in the center. So we have a carbon here and a carbon here. That means we have these rest of the molecule, the carbons here, this is gonna be a ketone. If one of these ended in hydrogen, either this one here, that would be the aldehyde. Or if we had a hydrogen over here, that would mean this is an aldehyde. But since we have these two carbons here surrounded by hydrogens, that's a ketone. Let's try another one. What about this one, aldehyde or ketone? So we see our double bonded carbon right here and it ends in hydrogen, just like this, double bonded carbon, there's our hydrogen. So this has to be an aldehyde. And here, all of this, that's the R. Let's try another one. Give this one a try. So we don't see that it ends in H. We have carbon, 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 carbon here. So we know there's the rest of the molecule and right there, the rest of the molecule. And right here, that's our double bonded carbon to the oxygen. So this is a ketone. This one looks a little more complicated. Give it a try. So the giveaway is our carbons right here bonded to oxygen and we have that H, just like we have in our aldehyde right here. So this is an aldehyde. And all of this right here, that's the rest of the molecule. So that's it. That's the difference between ketones and aldehydes and hopefully a nice way for you to remember it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.